Hey, 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 hey. It's Christmas. Knock that off. Good morning, you guys. It is finally the big day. It's Christmas. It's like my favorite holiday absolutely ever. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Get everything you possibly want. Maybe some, uh, some lower lifestyle gear. Who knows? If you do, let me know. Tag in a picture. But I'm going to yell at it to go downstairs. We're doing presents. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to vlog today. But as cool things come up or whatever, I'll pull the camera out. So I'll see you guys periodically today. I almost forgot one thing last night at like... One in the morning, I installed side steps on my mom's car. She does not know yet. So I need to pull the car out of the garage real quick. I need to slap a bow on them so she can come out and be surprised. These came out pretty nice. Honestly, for my first like Honda install, I think I did, I think I did all right. I think I did okay. But I can't forget. Merry Christmas, Miley. I didn't really get you anything because you were being bad for a while. But at least you're running now, so that's enough Christmas for me. Good job. She's going to walk out and be like, yo. Bam, look at them side steps. What? Got the car all set up looking good. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. All right, let's get inside. Get the Christmas tree. Got the Volkswagen emblem. <laughs> Iron Man. Look at this one. We did Lord last time. Um, uh, these like two die? years ago, I think. And I got my. You do something right here. Please, sweet. It is turning into a mess quite quickly. The dog's got new toes and he's losing his mind. This present actually has a beetle on it. My family knows me as well. I got a beetle. on here. Mom, I have one more for you though. What? I have one more for you. It's outside. I have to go outside. Yeah, go outside. Let's go. Hey, wait, no, I'm coming. Wait. Outside we go. No one knows what this is either. We're outside. Out here. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so bright. Glasses. I can't see. Ah. Oh, well. My glasses. Oh. Come on. You, you can come out. No, you can go. I can buy you a new car. I ain't got that kind of money, but come on. Stay. Let's see if you can notice right away. Or Stay. Take a little second. What do you see? Way I did it. That's why I was Yay! up. You know, I was up so freaking late last night putting those on. You were up at three when I went to bed. Yeah, I was up till four actually, but there they are. Okay, oh! I looked directly at them and wow! I thought you just put a bow on. It's car. a sappy thing. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. good. Okay, this worked. This worked out well. Me stay up till four worked it. out. Good. <laughs> good stuff. Safe to say, the side steps for the Honda Pilot were a huge success. She loved them. She's been asking for those for literally months and months and months. So I'm glad she liked those. Those are awesome. Now it is time for me to go play with my gifts because I have a lot of stuff that I want to go use. I spy a little TDI. Blair is here, but he's leaving. So a quick Merry Christmas for the vlog. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys and girls. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. And then I'll see you, what, tomorrow or tonight, you think? Uh, probably tomorrow. All right, cool, cool. Gonna do a quick little run through of what I got. This is in no way to show off, but I'm just really excited about all this stuff. If you know me, like look, candy cane socks right now, I absolutely love socks. I have a whole drawer for it, just full of like just like cool socks. So I love these. The vlog setup is about to get so, so much better. We have the road bike the road mic on now. I got an actual Jobby real one of these. I got my new Sigma 17 to 50 2.8. This is gonna be an amazing for vlogging and for shooting. So much up there. This is cool. I like art. I like painting and stuff like that. So I have like that one there. I have this little one there. I got one there. One about my computer over there. I love, I just like painting and stuff like that. So that's cool. I got a freaking pound of jerky. That's what we got by today. Um, these are like my favorite chocolates ever. Those are amazing. This is actually pretty cool. I can dump stuff onto this little like, USB or like iPhone from like anywhere. That's pretty cool. This support Casey, US Air Force. And then some clothes, pants, uh, shorts. These shirts are really, really nice. So I'm super excited about this and I can't wait to get the new vlog set up. So this is the old vlog set up, the Canon 18 to 55 kit lens. It works, but like it can be better. The Trackstar mic, which eh, the road mic way better than this. And this little thing, it's falling apart. There's supposed to be three legs, I only have two. So we're about to hop into the new vlog set up in three, two, one. Boom, there is the new setup. We got the road video go mic here. We have the real Jombi super solid tripod going on down here and we have the Sigma 17 to 50 f 2.8 I love Sigma lenses. This is my Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 that I do like portraits and stuff with I just love these lenses. They're super solid. They're just they're awesome like Sigma I, I've always been a fan of Sigma so like this this is dope 
So needless to say, I am beyond stoked and thankful for this whole new setup I got. Thank you Larry for the mic. My mom got me the lens and the jobby here. So honestly, like, I'm excited for this. Hopefully you guys are excited for it too. New audio for you guys, new visual for you guys. Hope it looks a lot better. And look at, look at the freaking zooms. Look at the freaking zooms. Oh. All right, I don't know what I'm filming today, but like I have all this now, so I'm just ready to film something. So I think the move now is yesterday you saw me open all the Adams Polish stuff. It's right here. I didn't actually get a chance to use any of yesterday though. So I think the move for today is bust out all that new stuff. Have some fun. Also, if you've been a viewer of the channel for a little while, you might recognize these glasses. I got them back, and I love them because they, they match my car. Yeah, boom, matching the car. What's really cool now is, though, the company Woody Brand actually reached out to me. They want to work with me, so I now have a discount code through them. So if you want to save 15% off a pair of these awesome glasses, they're actually made out of bamboo. Like This isn't like print-on. This isn't like plastic. This is actual bamboo. They feel absolutely amazing. They look they look awesome, and I like them because how the, the earpiece fits. Some glasses get kind of heavy, like made my ear hurt. These ones fit so nice. They're super light on your face. And they just look good. So if you want to save 15% off a pair of these glasses or shirt, anything else they have, MK3Smith, the same code as Lower Lifestyle, get yourself some glasses. Take a picture. They're dope. Got Miley out. She sounded all good. Gonna bust out all the Adam's Paul stuff here. I got so if you watch this video, they're still they hooked me up with like a ridiculous this, look at this. Like more stuff that I know how to use or even what to do with. But we're gonna try to use some of it today. Also, this lens just makes things look so just crisp and clean. We got them zooms, the nice f2.8 action going on. Oh, I'm super pumped on this lens. All right, here is my current setup for today. Keep in mind, I'm not like a crazy detail guy. I normally just wash the car with a foam gun, shave me it off, and that's literally all I do. But I want to learn how to clean the car better, keep it clean longer, so I have some more stuff pulled out today. But we're going to start with the foam gun, the new Ultra Foam Soap. I'm really excited to use this along with my new uh, wash bit there. Next, we're going to clay bar the entire car, get those last little pieces off with that. Next, we're going to use this uh, ceramic boost with one of these nice borderless gray towels. After I finish doing that, I'm going to go over to the H2O Garden Gloss, again with one of these towels, put that on top of the ceramic coating, finish up by drying the entire car off with this great white towel. These things look amazing, I've been wanting to use them for a long time, so that's pretty dope. Then move to the interior, use my interior detail right here, clean up the seats, the dash, whatever else is in there, and then finish it off with a nice air freshener. Just spoke with Kyle a minute ago, he actually said to use the H2O Garden Gloss before the strength boost. So. Changing my process a little bit, but still almost the same thing, but HL Garden Gloss before ceramic. With the foam gun, I normally fill it up about halfway, and then I get my uh, soap. Then you add it on in, give it a nice little squirt, and we should be good to go. Once the soap's in, I give it a little spritz, just kind of agitate it a little bit before. Just like that. Let me put our lid on. And we are good to go. Gonna get the car a quick rinse down now, and then we'll start with the foam. The car is now uh, rinsed down. We're hooked up to the foam gun down there. You guys have seen me use the foam gun before, but that's with the normal soap. So hopefully, we can see some sort of difference between the ultra foam soap versus just normal car wash stuff every day. Now, I don't expect this to completely like white out the car, like the ones you use the pressure washers. Like those ones, like completely like white out the entire car. You can't even see the color anymore. But I do expect it to be more foam than the normal soap. So. Fingers crossed. All right, let's see what we get. Foam gun engaged. Oh yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. And it smells so good. Not bad at all. So I think I did a pretty good job, and I could always add a lot more soap to this, but I don't want to waste it. So I think this is definitely pretty good for not using a pressure washer. What I'm really excited for is this thing right here. This thing is like, it's like a pillow. It's honestly so soft. I used Natalie's a while back. It's hard to find a good like sponge or like wash rag that really keeps the soap and moves it around the car. This does absolutely amazing, so I'm hyped for this. This thing like straight glides across the car. It is so so nice to use. This is probably one of my favorite things ever. It just, it is so, look at that. Look how much soap you get out of that. It's amazing. I'm a fan of this. Miley's now washed and rinsed. Gonna bust out the clay bar and see uh, exactly how much stuff we actually missed in this wash. So in the Adams Polish's Visco clay bar, you actually get the clay bar here itself and you also get this little tool. What you do is you mold this however you want it, put this over the tool here and use this, move back and forth for added grip, this and that. Read the instructions, seems pretty simple. Let's get started. 
Got my little tool and my clay bar already. Well, I didn't need that, but all ready to go. I think I'm gonna start on the uh, the trunk here and then see how it goes, and then we'll go from there. Gonna start back here on the trunk. I still don't know how well clay bar works on a Halo EFX. This isn't paint, um, but I believe it's close to the same, so I guess we'll see. Let's try the corner here and kind of go down. Bit sticky. Bit sticky through there. Definitely, like, it's, it's gripping the car pretty hard. So I don't know if clay bar works the same on a uh, on Halo FX versus paint. Getting a little better. Hopefully you can see that, but there's some little specks throughout here. So it's definitely picking up stuff off the car. Um, I don't know if it's going to slide on here, like it's going to slide on paint. But it's definitely pulling dirt off the car, so that's good. Quick update, once I actually went through and I kind of molded and kneaded the clay bar up like this, it moves a lot smoother on the Halo FX. So I'm pretty sure um, you can clay bar this just the same as paint. It was a lot smoother. I did the entire trunk in this floor already. It was a lot, like way smoother. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's kind of dark right there, right there, all that dirt. It's crazy how much like extra dirt's on your car. You think the car is clean, but there's still like so much stuff on the car. So I'm going to go through and finish this car, but it feels nice. Just finished up doing the entire car with the clay bar. And let me just tell you, uh, this clay bar here has seen, um, has seen better days. Like, look at that. It's crazy because, like, from here, I mean, obviously now it's much cleaner now, but, like, before I did the clay bar, it looked so clean. But it's crazy how much stuff is actually still on your car. Holy crap. But now I feel a lot better because now the car is clay barred. It's so, it's so, so smooth. So now we're going to move on to the h Toe Garden Gloss. So you leave the car wet, spray a panel with that, use one of these towels, wipe it in, get a dry towel, wipe it off, and then do the entire car like that. And then after that, we'll move on to the ceramic coat here. Yeah. All right, I have my damp and my dry towels here. I'm going to grab my h Toe Garden Gloss. I'm going to do this back corner here. So I'm going to light in the spray. This over the area a little bit like so. I'm going to take my damp one here and just wipe all this in while the car is still wet. Once you wipe all the uh, H2O Garden Gloss in with your damp one, you come back, grab your dry one, wipe away the rest of the residue, and it should be nice and smooth. Now, my car obviously still needs to be wet sanded and buffed, as you can tell, but I've only done one little coat of the H2O Garden Gloss. This side is so crazy smooth and i still have the ceramic coating to do but it's so so smooth i this product by itself this stuff right here hl garden gloss is amazing like i am i am hyped on that that's that's crazy i'm gonna go through finish up the rest of the car and then i'll come back when it's time for the ceramic boost here just finished up doing the entire car in the h12 gloss and guard and i have to say that stuff is absolutely amazing well one it smells really good and two the car has like this shine that's never had before and it's just so so smooth and i still have the ceramic pro to do but it just feels amazing and even before adam's polishes ever sent me any products at all i've used their soap and i've used the quick detail that's all i've ever used before but now like with the h1 gloss and all these other products like that's a really they're, they're a really good brand i'm excited to be working with them and using their stuff on miley here so if you guys want some adam's polish stuff definitely check them out it's good quality stuff. I fully stand behind it. It's awesome stuff. Man, this car is looking so clean and it's so much like shinier than it's ever been before. I have to go ahead and add the uh, ceramic boost left still and then I'll put it in the sun so you guys can really see it. But like right now, I wish you guys could come here and like feel the car. It feels so, so smooth right now. Gonna be using these single soft polishing towels here to apply the ceramic coat. The directions are pretty simple. All it says is make sure you wash the car. Already done, apply to the area, wipe on, wipe off, do the entire car, good to go. I'm really excited for this because the car is already so ridiculously smooth right now. I cannot wait to see how smooth it's gonna be after the ceramic. First off, I wanna say, if you're someone who details cars on a regular basis, props to you. My arms are, I'm feeling the burn. I'm feeling the burn, but I'm just about out of sun as you can see there. Ooh, this lens looks so nice. I'm just, I love this lens. Just finished up the ceramic boost in the car. It feels insanely smooth. What's crazy is I can still peel this all right off. My car is not painted, if you don't know. If you're new to the channel, this isn't paint. This is Halo EFX, but I absolutely love it. So now we, we foam gun the car, wash it down. We clay bar the car. We H2O guard and gloss the entire car. And then we did the ceramic um, coat at the top of it. And it's looking, it looks so good. I wish I had some more sunlight to show you guys how much this car sparkles right now. But I'll pull my flash out real quick and I'll give you guys a little look at it. So like it's looking good there, but you come with some light and oh, it just really livens up. Look at that. Look at that. It's so smooth and so shiny now with all these products on the car. I absolutely love this stuff. It's looking good. 
And like I was saying earlier, this is my first time using any of Adams Polish's other products besides just Quick Detailer and just a normal foam gun soap. Um, but this stuff, I, I think it's awesome. It works really good. Everything's very user friendly. Everything smells awesome. It's got cool colors, which is all, everyone likes cool colors. So first time using a bunch of Adam stuff, definitely a thumbs up. If you want to try some stuff out, I would say go for it. I like it. Last but not least, I'm going to give this uh, interior detailer stuff right here a go and see how it works. Hopefully it's not too dark, you guys can still see. I've used a lot of interior cleaners in my day. Um, I think this one is by far my favorite now. Not just because I got it for free, but because the way this stuff goes on, like, okay, so a lot of interior cleaners go on really thick, and like they're greasy, and you have to like really work to get it to spread out. This stuff goes on so nice and light, and it covers like really, really well, and it's not greasy afterwards, and doesn't make your stuff look all like shiny and greasy. It just looks nice and clean everything just looks clean and i'm sorry there's not enough light but it's clean and you have that nice just like smooth clean when you sit in the seat you kind of like slide in really nice stuff and like i said i've used a lot of interior cleaner before everything just looks clean nothing looks greasy nothing feels greasy nothing's on my hand it's just really nice quality and it goes on super smooth and it covers like really i'm a fan i'm a fan of this this is good stuff gonna give my quick finishing touch to do it off on the inside i like the design on this um air freshener a lot and Pretty sure it's cinnamon. No one's really doing cinnamon air fresheners. Very festive, very Christmassy. Very last thing on my list to try today is this Adams Polish's hand cleaner. I know, and I'm sure you guys know as well, after you spend any time washing your car with all the soaps and stuff, your hands feel ridiculously dry and just itchy and stuff. So this is supposed to re-moisturize your hands, clean them, and make them feel all nice and good again. It has walnut shell fragments as well, so that's fancy. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. So the final verdict for the hand cleaner here it's amazing. It's like the fancy version of like Fast Orange or Gojo, um, but it smells amazing. It leaves your hands feeling super soft and they just smell so good. This is by far my favorite smelling Adams product they have. I, I dare any of you to tell me this isn't the best smelling one they have. This is this is the best. It's like passion fruit. I don't know. It just smells amazing. Th this is the best. Best. And the best. Back in the garage and looking absolutely fantastic. I don't think my car has ever, ever been this clean. Like, I don't think my car has ever been this clean or this smooth. Like, ever. This is the first. Normally, I wash my car in probably 30 to 45 minutes or so. Wash, dry, done. I spent probably three or so hours today. And my arms are for sure feeling it. It's about 11.30 at night. We are on the final countdown of Christmas before it's over. And then we are on our way to the new year. Um, I don't really feel anything else for the day. Um, just hung out with family, played board games, had good food, just knew everyone's company. Uh, tomorrow I'm heading to St. Augustine to pick up Casey. I don't know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow or not, but I may have the camera along just, just in case. Uh, we'll see. Don't forget to be thankful for every single day. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. It was amazing. Hope you had everything you wanted. I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe. Peace out.